Oi, oi. <coughs> oi, oi. <laughs> so, for those that don't know, in the UK, uh, from January 2013, they released an additional test that you've got to do when riding um, motorcycles, you know, restrictions wise. And what that does is if you are riding, if you are aged between and 24 you have to do an additional test which gives you the uh, elevated rights from being on a 125 if you started out on those to a 399 or a maximum output power of uh, <coughs> 35 kilowatts and it's a very good reason as to why they've done it and they've not done it for just one reason, they've done it for multiple um, but you know, I agree with the fact that they've done it this is to reduce the amount of squids on the road because let's face it, if you're a young and you, you know, if you start you know, which a lot of riders do now because it's a much cheaper mode of transport than uh, getting a car you know, you're less inclined to be cocky about it and, and things like that and that's what this does, it kind of like knocks that off but it also increases a degree of safety <coughs> when you go to do your actual test by an instructor <coughs> you've got to have sufficient gear <coughs> i.e. boots you need to have those, they will not let you do it unless you've got these boots and fuck me, it's windy it's very fucking windy <laughs> so, that's now an included part of it you used to be able to do it you know, go from 17 then after two years of riding at that age you took another test for the you know larger displacing of power engines and um, had your rights elevated so you could constantly just go sorry you could just go straight from 125cc to 699 oh sorry 599 then after two years of riding on a 599 um, you automatically had your rights lifted so you could go you know to any size power bike now it's obviously slightly different there's four different stages well I like to say there's four different stages you know the image with four different bikes <coughs> uh, because they presume you're going to start at 16 years old because you can and at 16 you go what the fuck are they doing what the fuck are they doing? Wow, what an idiot. Um, what the fuck? Uh, so at 16 years old, you can get a 50cc. And that's it. Uh, just, just a 50cc, nothing more, nothing less. Well, there is obviously less, um, but yeah, 50 cc is what you're allowed to ride at. And then at the age of 17, you can uplift that, you can go from 50 to 125 cc. Um, and again, there's, there's no play in that, 125 is the maximum that you can ride at you know if you put a 150 bark in it you are riding illegally and your insurance is off the roof as well especially if you get caught, that's completely void uh, so then that's that so you've got your, at 16 you've got 50cc then 17 you can go to 
125. Now, if you've already taken your CBT at the age of 16, you can automatically run, uh, you know, go up to 125. You don't need to take another CBT, and um, that, that, that's that. the age then, once you've been riding for two years, at the age of 19, which, which I am, I turned 19 today, today's my birthday, you can ride bigger bikes. Now, I shouldn't have been on the MT, if you've seen that video before. I think there was a bit of confusion in communication over there. I definitely didn't say, look, I want to do this, I'm 19, you know, because I've, I've got my license to check that. Um, there must have just been some confusion of something somewhere. Um, so at 19, you, you, you can then go up top to a 399, or like I say, this uh, 35 kilo output. And then that doesn't just stop you from being at 35. The rules say you can have double your output power. So. Um, you can have 70 kilowatts max as long as it is restricted to 35 or has a restriction in it. Um, it's the first license where you can actually get a vehicle with more output um, than what you, you know, what they declare it as. You know, so you can get 35, but in fact you can get 70 would have it restricted. Now you can't at the age of 17 have um, a, a, a 350 or a 390 and get that restricted that's not allowed only in this one can you do so when you're 19 so it's the only one where you can um, unless if you're going through direct access then it's, you've got different things in the future After two years of riding at the age of 19, you can go for your A license, which is unrestricted. So it's gone AM, A1, A2, then A. And A is <coughs> any bike. Uh, if you've been riding for two years from the age of 19, you can go at 21 to do this. However, if you don't start riding until 20, you have to wait to do the uh, direct access, which is at 24. That then allows you to pretty much bypass going from 125, uh, sorry, a 50, a 125, a 399 typically, and then um, you know, straight onto your 600s and above. And I'm saying 600 because you know, that's what it is typically. Um, you know, you can get a 600, like say, as long as it's producing around 70 kilowatts, and then it's restricted. You can, like that, you can do that. Um, so yeah, the bike I'm looking to get is the SV650 S. It's a very nice looking bike. It's reliable. Um, Apart from the carbs, apparently, if you got a model before 2007, maybe, the carb in it goes, it's just crap metal that they make them out or something like that. Um, anything after that, and then you're pretty hunky dory, apparently. I believe that's the case, anyway. Um, so, yeah, then you can go on to your unrestriction. Now, if you've taken a theory test at 19, you do not have to do another theory test when you're at 21. You've got you can go for the uh, uh, A restriction or category. You know you don't have to take it again. You do have to take your mods one and two, but not your theory. That applies to them all. Once you've done your theory, you you're fine. You don't have to do that again. Um, but if you've never done it before, no matter what one you have to do, no, no matter sorry, no matter what category you're going for, um, whether it's A two. Or A, you have to take a theory test. So yeah, that's another thing actually. With the CBTs, you don't. You can do, but you don't have to. 
that will be recording for the mods one and two. I would like to do that. I want to see, you know, because then they can use it upon myself as where I've done well, where I've not done so well. Um, and yeah, and I can learn from it. The CBT is valid for two years, only two years. And I'm coming very close to it. Now, if, for example, and God forbid, the weather decides to be a cunt, like say it's really windy, so some tests have been cancelled. Um, I might have to repay for my CBT, even though I'm now riding fine, everything's great. Um, you, you, you still have to, you still have to go for it again, which is a ball out because you know it might turn back over and just quit. But that's that's a really. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, see you in the next vlog.